a little bit too much of Hennessy. <laughs> I just took such a long nap. You so precious when you smile. month I don't know <sighs> I literally can't sleep started watching the Ted Bundy tapes and then I just got on this rant watching scary things and now I think I'm gonna get kidnapped and murdered in my sleep so I'm too scared to sleep at night so I just stay up all night or I go out at like 2 a.m. because I'm like well if I'm not gonna sleep anyway I may as well go out with friends it's such a bad habit I need to stop but it'd be like that sometimes <laughs> it also makes me very emotional not having any sleep, so I've been having a lot of mental breakdowns recently, but we're doing fine, it's okay. I'm trying to like listen to music to get my brain going because I like, I really want to drink an energy drink, but if I do that, I know for a fact I will go to sleep tonight and I feel like I can actually, I'm like feeling it. I'm feeling that I can sleep tonight. I did, I slept so good that night. The goal is asleep by 1 a.m., in bed by 11, asleep by one. That's a really good goal for me. So we're gonna try that out. I was in bed at 11 and asleep by 12.30, so. Anyway, I'm so excited about this week. There's so much fun stuff happening. I'm gonna end up vlogging this weekend. My cousin's getting married on Friday. Wednesday's bachelorette party. I'm a bridesmaid, so I'm really excited. And then, I don't know what we're doing Thursday. Friday is the wedding. Very excited. Oh, Dallin gets into town on Thursday. Really excited to see him. Wow, we've seen each other in four months. Kind of makes me really cry. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> it's fine because I'm about to see him. I'm in such a weird mood and now I'm crying. Ah! Didn't know what to do today because, well, actually, I have like 30 video ideas. I just was like, which one involves the least effort because I just took like four naps and that's why I look like this. After this extremely long intro, I am doing an Instagram. Reaction thing. So I went on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I asked you guys what your most embarrassing stories slash like what your biggest secrets are. And I'm going to be reacting to them because, well, y'all crazy. You were really crazy. So let me go get my laptop. I wish I could have music playing in the background, but then I just get copyrighted, which is so rude. <sighs> I'm really tired. I was gonna go snowboarding with everyone today, and well, yeah, that, yeah. Didn't Here we go. Come with me. There's a world out there that we should see. Okay, that actually really hyped me up, so we're good. We're feeling good. Alright. These are your guys' biggest secrets. Let's get started. I have a secret crush on my mom's new boyfriend and I have no clue what to do. He's so hot. First of all, that means he's probably like 40 something, maybe 50 something. I don't know how old your mom is. That's really weird. You should probably figure that situation out. I'm graduating and getting my bachelor's degree this summer and I've never even had my first kiss. I mean like props to you. Can't relate. My cousin once tried to kiss me in ninth grade in my room at my family gathering and I haven't spoke to him since. I mean, valid not to talk to him. It's pretty awkward, especially ninth grade. Like, you're old enough to know that you shouldn't kiss your cousin. When I was little, I was terrified of automatic flushing toilets because I thought they would eat me. I have something really embarrassing to tell you guys, and it's that I'm still afraid of... I'm just afraid of toilets when they flush. Like, they don't even have to be automatic. Whenever a toilet is flushing, I literally will sprint out of the bathroom, sprint to the other side of the bathroom. I don't know what I think is going to happen to me. I have like a really big irrational fear of that. Oh my gosh, that's such a good video. I have to tell you guys my irrational fears because there's a lot of them. I really enjoy the smell of gasoline and nail polish. Sometimes I go in the bathroom and sniff the polish. Does that make me a druggie? That's actually really funny because I remember in elementary school, everyone would always talk about like sniffing nail polish and that was like the crazy, like really bad thing to do. Like if you like those people were definitely gonna be like crazy wild drug addicts in high school if they were sniffing nail polish in elementary school. 
Um, I probably wouldn't suggest just straight up sniffing it all the time, but I also enjoy the smell of gasoline and nail polish. I feel like a lot of people do. Just limit yourself, I guess. Don't just go sniff it. Just like if it's around, then enjoy it while it's there. I've been seeing my best friend's boyfriend behind her back for six months. I'm sorry, but you're a terrible person. I've been in situations like that, and it still hurts to this day. So maybe don't do that. You have to tell her right now. And make sure you tell her, not her boyfriend, or you guys are never going to talk to each other again. I'm 18 and still sleep with stuffed animals. I did too until I moved out because I didn't want to bring them all with me. It's not that I like wanted to, I just like had a bunch, so I don't know, I thought they were cute. I like stuffed animals. <laughs> I slept with my best friend's boyfriend not knowing it was her boyfriend because it was all new and now they're married and I was the maid of honor. I kind of hope you told her, but also at this point... Yeah, just go. I don't like my best friend. She's judgy and hypocritical. I don't know what to do. She's obviously not your best friend if you don't like her. I would just start to slowly stop hanging out with her or maybe just confront her and be like, look, I don't like you. I'm in love with Post Malone. Literally get in line because I am too. I know he's kind of ugly, but he's also like kind of hot, like in an ugly way, if that makes sense. I peed my pants at a golf tournament on the green recently, this past season. I'm 17, I have a problem. You know, if you have to pee, you have to pee. And like when you're playing golf, it could be a while before you even get to a bathroom. So I'm honestly not even going to blame you because I've been there. I didn't actually pee myself. I don't know how you did that. But like, maybe just wear a diaper next time or something. I don't know. Golf tournaments are long. I wasn't potty trained until I was seven years old. Well, I have some news for you. I know a lot of people <laughs> who had to use diapers because they would wet the bed until they were like, 17 so you're really not behind like you're fine i'm pregnant and no one knows you should probably tell someone you can't just not tell anyone you're pregnant everyone's gonna find out <laughs> kind of embarrassing but one of my first sleepovers i accidentally slept walk into my friend's bathroom and peed on the floor somehow managed to wipe it up with a towel while i was still asleep took the towel back to bed and woke up with it next to me in the morning pretty sure i tried to blame it on the cat that's very interesting. I mean, good for you, I guess. I have an identical twin, twin sister. One time I snuck out and she acted like she was me because I was already grounded. I mean, yeah, valid. I'd probably do the same thing if I had a twin sister. I seriously feel like someone's here and I know I'm home alone, so I'm a little concerned. Am I gonna do anything about it? No. Actually, yeah. I'm gonna shut my door. It's fine. We're fine. I'm gonna feel sick. Literally, what is up with all of you guys kissing your best friend's boyfriend? It's not that hard to not kiss your best friend's boyfriend. I don't understand, but like, okay. I spent the night with a guy, peed his bed accidentally, then left without him ever knowing. I mean, props to you. I'm sure he figured it out in the morning, but like, that's really awkward, honestly. When I was nine, my neighbors convinced me they were vampires, so to prove it to me, they bit me, and I cried for a whole week thinking I would never live like a normal person again because I was a vampire. Figure out I wasn't when I accidentally poked myself, licked my blood, and found it disgusting. Never told anyone that. That's kind of funny. Like, you should start telling people that, because if that happened to me, I'd probably tell everyone. I have a birthmark that's straight where I'm down my right calf and my mom has one too. Exact same shape, size, and color. Not to be dramatic, but I'm pretty sure we were abducted when I was little because neither of us remember. Not much of a secret as a weird thought. That's actually really, like, I feel like you did get abducted. I ran out of underwear and went to school with my younger sibling's diaper. Did you, like, use the diaper though or did you just wear it? That's, I feel like that would not be comfortable. And, like, if it's your younger sibling, wasn't it, like, really small on you? Okay, I'm really tired for some reason. Actually, I think I know why, but am I going to do anything about it? No. Okay, I'm up. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was entertaining. It was mostly just me like falling asleep and reading things, but I'm really trying my best today, okay? Sometimes literally life just be like that. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're trying to grow this family, okay? If you enjoy this video, you're gonna enjoy my other ones, so hit the subscribe button. My social media is down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! I'm gonna go take a nap now. Hey.